to the Entrepreneurial CPA Show. We're here to take a deep dive into the knowledge you need out there to break free of the box and become the world-changing entrepreneur we know that you want to be. Hitting you up with the theoretical and practical skills, as always, to punch above your weight. I'm Garrett Wagner, co-host of the Entrepreneurial CPA Channel, and I'm here with my fellow co-host, the man, the legend from New Jersey and parts of Massachusetts, the great wilderness, the traveler, Dr. Sean. Today's show is brought to you by our amazing team sponsors, Prolera, reminding you that CP doesn't have to be a grind, nor should it this time of year. Hain Rock Solutions, helping provide you the roadmap to the advisory service promised land. And Accountify, if you're a firm looking for help in hiring, they can help you find the next job candidate for you. So Dr. Sean, I thought in today's show, we talk about something I hear a lot this time of year with firms and, and practitioners is, you know, do I implement new technology? Do I mm. do something with new technology? I'm considering it. I mean, yeah. if you can, I've been thinking about it. Do I get started with it or not? Mm -hmm. Give some advice to know what to do when we kind of deal with that technology considerations. Sure. So, so the, the first point that I would make is, is that those firms are asking the wrong question, right? Just coming out of the box strong. Come out of the box yeah. strong. Come out of the box strong, man. And so the first question to be asked is, do I have a, a business problem that new technology tools um, can actually help solve? Right. First, Period. first question, first do I question. actually have a, a business problem? And then two, do I have a, a way that I can isolate that business process or those components to, to basically do a test run? Right. Cause, cause, cause as we all know, right. The, the worst thing ever for a new tool to do to a firm is to basically cripple it. Right. Right. The tool is onboarded brought out and it does not work. So I say starting off with those two points are always excellent starting points. Yeah, and I think for most of these solutions, the business case is, is just prevalent every day. I mean, firms are yeah. so far behind the technology. The case is you need to get just up to speed, let alone be caught off like. Yeah. Up to speed, whether it's the cloud, technology, AI, whatever it is, like you're behind, the business case is you are behind and get caught up. And yeah, the second point is, right, is very important as well. We do this all the time, really kind of testing out with validated learning how this new process works. You know, yep. test it small, learn from it. Do some the old way, some the new way, see what works, learn from that. But I think at the end of the day, my number three is don't keep waiting. Don't put this off another 12, 16, 18 months like here from so many firms. We've been considering this software for two, three, four years now. Just what are you waiting for? Software. Yeah. You're yeah. behind. The world has passed you by. It's time to get on board. It's time to move at least to the, the laggard part of the train. You know, they're like those people that I hear that they might still own a rotary phone just because they have to have one. Well, the world is adapted to smartphones and, and you don't have a phone in your house. So I think, so we talk about this, you nailed it. Business case, yes, you need better software. Test it out, validate that learning, A and B, and get started. So Dr. Sean, if it was you, is blockchain your, your, your favorite thing to start with or is something more, more practical firms can, can think about getting into it? I mean, it, it, it would, it would um, depend on the firm and the clients, but probably for most of that, their blockchain is a few steps too uh, far. I'd say, honestly, basic automation software, bot software, it helps automate some of those basic tasks, right? Answering emails, booking meetings, doing basic entries, even over and, and, and over again. Automate bank recs, automate confirmations, automate all, all of those tasks that, that aren't adding value to you uh, internally or externally to your clients. I love it. Best choice for that is bots. I've been saying that all the time, so I'm glad you picked that. It's like we coordinated this answer together. So if you're thinking about what to do with technology, leverage technology, start with bots today. If you want some help with that, send either of us an email, instant message, wherever you're seeing this. We can help you. Think about it, figure out what to deploy bots to help you get started, to help you keep the learning going. And as always, click to subscribe to the YouTube channel and take action today to change the world and invest in yourself.